Long story short, I stayed home. It was Wednesday, day 53 of the quarantine. I woke up at 11 a.m. I... Wait. It was Thursday, day 54 of the quarantine. I woke up at 11 a.m. I checked my notifications. Nothing. I checked my calendar. Nothing. I checked my fridge. Something. I needed to go to the grocery store, but I remembered that the news said, Stay at home order for the entire state. So I decided to wait. I hung out in my living room without my roommates. I saw what my roommate Joe posted. He was back home with his mom. I saw what my roommate Bernard posted. He was stuck in Fiji. I saw what that girl Charlotte, who I matched with on Tinder, posted. She was baking bread and drinking a beer. I thought about posting a post, but I wasn't doing anything interesting, and I was all alone in my apartment. I needed to do something productive to get my mind off it, so I did some reading. I did some drawing. I finally taught myself how to play guitar. I worked out. I I took a shower. I remembered that I haven't done laundry in three weeks, so I put my pajamas back on. I organized my room. I swept the floors. I took the trash out. But I remembered that the news said, If you leave your apartment, make sure to disinfect thoroughly. I realized that I just left my apartment to take the trash out. <coughs> so I disinfected thoroughly. I remembered that I still haven't done laundry in three weeks, so I put my pajamas back on. I looked at the clock. It was still today, and I was still alone. I needed to do something productive to get my mind off it, so I watched a movie, but it made things worse, so I tried another movie, but it made things worser, so I tried another movie, but it made things worsest. I realized I should stop watching movies, so I watched that TV series about tigers that everyone was talking about. You know you cool cats and kittens. That cat lady definitely killed her husband. I got hungry, so I ate a snack, but my pajama shirt got dirty, so I decided it was time to do laundry. I did my laundry, but I remembered that the news said, if you go to a public place, disinfect thoroughly. I realized that the laundry room is a public place, <coughs> so I disinfected thoroughly. I realized I had clean laundry now, but I also realized I didn't have anywhere to be, so I put my pajamas back on. I looked at the clock. It was still today, and I was still alone. I needed to talk to someone to get my mind off it. I did a Zoom call with Joe, but he said, It's actually been really nice being at my mom's place. I go crazy without human interaction. So it didn't help. I did a Zoom call with Bernard, but he said, You know, Tommy, let me tell you, there are worse things than being stranded in Fiji. So it didn't help. I did a Zoom call with that girl Charlotte who I matched with on Tinder. She said, It's so nice finally having someone to talk to. So that did help. I wanted to say, you have a very nice smile. It's infectious. But I said, you have a very nice in infection. Uh, what? My internet is cutting out. Sorry. Her cat poster was weirding me out anyway. I was getting really hungry, and I ran out of snacks, so I ordered a delivery burrito. It was getting dark, so I turned on some lights. The delivery guy arrived and gave me my burrito, but I accidentally touched him. Stay safe. I remembered that the news said, Don't touch other people. It isn't safe. <laughs> so I disinfected thoroughly. I thought it was probably time to put on some new clothes, so I put on some new clothes. But then I looked at the clock, and it wasn't today anymore. So I took the new clothes off and put my pajamas back on. I ate my burrito. I brushed my teeth. I put the anti-balding stuff on my hair. I smiled. Another day surviving the quarantine. It'll all be over soon. I got in bed. I turned off the light and went to sleep. But then my phone went off. I got up. I turned the light on. I looked at my phone. Joe sent me a message. Bernard sent me a message. My burrito sent me a message. I went to the bathroom. I checked my messages. Joe's message said, And that's another year at my mom's place. See you in 2021, Tommy. Bernard's message said, hey, You're in Fiji. It won't be so bad. That girl Charlotte, who I matched with on Tinder, didn't message me. But on her story, she said, Looks like another year of Zoom dates with random creeps. And then I saw what the news said. Long story short, I stayed home. <laughs> hey guys, we're almost cool. Thank you so much for watching this very special quarantine episode of Long Story Short. We hope all of you have been very safe and uh, have still remained somewhat sane. Sane, uh, the process. <laughs> Guys, we have a video coming out in a couple weeks. And if it doesn't come out in a couple weeks, then it'll come out next year. Because we tend to lie all the time. Oh Hopefully all y'all have been quarantining like Chase all along and top. That's right. <laughs> Bye. Later. One, two, three, four. <laughs>